YouTube family. Well, it's being addressed, it's being shown, and you've seen what you've seen out here right now. Big Wooney speaks with Truth Teller, and he gives an unbelievable breakdown and interview regarding what's going on, circumstances in the streets, situational needs, and he gives his personal opinion how he doesn't blame bloggers. You feel me? Like a lot of these wolf commenters who are blaming bloggers. Wooney gives an honest perspective and said, you got to blame the guys who's talking. But we're going to break that down and look at the situation with Brick Wooney speaking the truth teller. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's pay some bills right quick first. Hit that like button, hit that notification bell. Let's go again. Make sure you sign up for I Smoke Hip Hop Live platform. Go to the links in the description by DJ underscore Bless One. Rock out with the most winningest team out here. And make sure you rock out. Salute. Now, Big Wooney, as you see here, he comes from the trenches that we know too, too for real. Now, he sits down with Truth Teller and gives an amazing interview and a breakdown to his opinion if bloggers are, are are responsible for folks and them getting in trouble not only that he also gives a little bit insight on the fbg duck case and the indictment with moap and all of them don't nobody know if they charge for for real i hear a lot about the internet did shit. the internet investigation the fans is building cases bloggers are, are responsible do you feel like bloggers are responsible for, for people hey, anybody not. Bloggers ain't responsible, it's what the people say to the bloggers. Shit. That, that's how Did you hear what he said? He doesn't blame the bloggers. By the way, you guys look for the links in the description box to this full interview by Truth Teller. Go subscribe to Truth Teller TV and watch all his full interviews. I'm only going to show you a little bit clips because I'd rather you guys go watch the full interview on Truth Teller TV. But listen to what Big Wooney says again. He's a young dude, but he's very sharp and minded. He knows only the guys can get each other in trouble. You can't stop the discernment and blame other bloggers for a case that they're not responsible for. How can a blogger get you in trouble if they're not in tune with what's going on? They're not in your physical location. So how can the police use that as evidence in court? You will be a dumb attorney litigation-wise speaking if you use bloggers social media no they use the actual folks in them social media that's what they use but listen to big woony speak the truth again i hear a lot about the internet did shit the internet investigation the fans is building cases bloggers are, are responsible do you feel like bloggers are responsible for, for people Hell anybody no. bloggers ain't responsible it's what the people say to the bloggers shit and he speaks more on the case and the situation and what transpired and happened. But let's listen to folks for a little bit more. Yeah. But once you get locked in and you come with the right paperwork, niggas gonna fuck with you. You just gotta come with the right paperwork. All right. I don't have to ask you that. No, nah, hell no. Nah. I it's always tough. jail on nobody. Right, it's tough, ain't it? Yeah, I always right. jail on nobody. Never. I'm not even my head. worst enemy. I won't wish jail on nobody. Jail ain't a place to be for nobody. Games right now, so. Yeah. Yeah, about November, I shit out like three videos. Now, you see Wooney, what he's speaking on and what type of time he's on. He tell you he's gonna have multiple videos cause he's working out here. He ain't just sitting down gooking, you feel me? Not doing the work that needs to be done. Wooney is for real. Wooney is about the situational needs. He understands that if I stay solid and I stay down, then I can make a way for me and mine. He ain't traumatized by what's going on, but he is smartly vast in intellect in the strategic maneuvers you need to do to avoid these fed cases. Like I said, it's a lot of members of the O, you can naturally look at them and tell like, oh, this dude ain't gonna talk. 
or this young dude over here is solid. I mean, you can literally see it. So with Big Wooney giving that truth teller great interview, you need to look at where he's coming from, what he means about that. And he's, he's serious, bro. Like, he takes it serious and not wishing prison and jail for nobody. It's very rare you can see some people who are more honorable. Jay Prince once said it ain't no principles here anymore, but it's good to see young dudes like Big Wooney. You feel me? He is not going to falter on the ground. I mean, one, th one time he made us laugh when they were like, how, you feel me, how <laughs> tall he is. He Apparently, he's allegedly 6'4 or 6'3, but he didn't want to say 6'3. He said 6'2 and a half because they don't say 63rd. I mean, these dudes is hella talented. We don't wish anything bad for none of these dudes. We hope they keep winning because of when the way they win, they, they really rocking out here for real, bro. Like, just to get it out the way. Big Wooney and these guys literally been cemented and stamped it in their neighborhoods, where they're from. When he gives these interviews, he's showing you that he's ready for the industry world. He can adapt. He can change. He understands what he got to do to make it because generational wealth is right at their door. If you are from old block, you know already, bro, the doors are open for you because who you are and where you come from. Big Wooney, what they call him, but he is no slack at all he is a smart sharp dude he clearly is representative of his neighborhood the way you proudly should i mean he stand up for the guys and he just stood up for the bloggers you gotta definitely respect the man who knows business people would definitely hit him up pay him for interviews and request him at all time high because they know he talks a lot like me but he don't talk too much meaning that he don't give no information on the guys he don't tell on the guys he moved like a smooth one out here and it's very rare to see that look salute to this man big Wooney. but at the end of the day you gotta know these guys just a product of their environment for real for real you know what i mean Right, ugly as <laughs> Went to the diamond man. You trying to test your diamonds and your shit did not go up, nigga. You know that ain't true, but I'm gonna let you talk your shit, gang gang. My my kids around, so I can't talk talk as loud as I want to. Let me see how your baby look. I hope your baby don't look like you, bro. <laughs> Cause you ugly than a motherfucker. Hey, I, hey, look. You know, look, that's what I got. I knew me and you get along some way. I'm gonna show you for now. No, I'm not your homie, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. We not homies. We not friends, bro. You wanna? You can't dress like me, be like me, none of that shit. I got Hello. more money than you. Fitz, I got more money than you. Fendi what? boy, you know that. Boy, I am fucking sad. Why did you say this shit like that? Sad and all, nigga. What the Look. fuck? What you... Man, that's what I'm talking about. Nigga, what the fuck? Nigga, what the fuck? I encourage you niggas. I'm, I'm off two right now. And I'm off five. On um, what? You gonna die before I catch you. <laughs> <laughs> Say what? My well, mama loud. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I ain't know your mama's right there, bro. I'm, I'm respectful. I apologize. Don't apologize, bitch. Be cautious. And kill me, because I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> I'm gonna catch you. I know I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna catch you in like Walmart. So you see, I'm just gonna beat your ass. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you like doing shit like that. I'm, I'm beating up. Fuck. Set up Bo Deal. Add Bo Deal and tell him I want to fight you. Only guys I'll fight you one on one. I'm for real. I'm dead. I'm dead. That's I'm going to tell you. I'll I'm going to knock your ass right out. Hey, it is what it is. And I'm going to make well, sure I got a sniper. And I'm going to make sure I got a sniper somewhere on the, on the building somewhere. So when you leave the building, they can pop your ass. I was just going to tell you, have I had to after, after parties? That ain't my fault. He told that ain't my fault. <laughs> but we can fight though. I'ma knock your bitch ass out. I'ma beat the fuck out yo. You you know you got a little long skinny ass head. Bond Bond tried Bond tried to do that. Oh, look oh, look where he at. Not to do it none, bro. I'm Bond tried to me, do that. Look where he at. This time about me beating your ass, gang. We ain't talking about shooting each other, none of that. We ain't dissing nobody. Fight me one on one. Bro, I thought I thought about it and I just had to think about it again. Bond tried to do that and he died. I ain't trying to be I ain't trying to die, bro. Hey, you doing too much, bro. <laughs> when you ain't got to block this shit hard, when you ain't got to block this, you know? Ain't no ain't block shit. I do this with Big Cloud. I am, bro, if you ain't learned from me, bro, I'm very smart. And I am very, very smart in this, in this game, bro. I didn't get sad in a month for no reason. I am very smart, bro. Fucking sad, bro. Them chains fake as hell, bro. Bro, I got fake chains. I got, I got. Bitch, I, I can get fake. some chains, nigga. Look. 
Look, I got fake chains. I got fake money. I got fake prop money. I got fake cars. I got fake uh, earrings for the uh, videos. I got fake uh, for fake cartoon characters. I got all type. I got fake money. I got all type of shit. I got all type of shit. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look. Now take one of them bills right out the middle and put it up like this. Hey, don't. No, no, no. Stop taking too long. Huh? He took too long. You took too long. Don't try to use the real money on top of the motion money. Go on. Hey, gang, salute to gang, man. Salute to what y'all do out here, man. Salute to everybody, man. Smoke gang up in this piece, man. You know I'm rocking and how I'm rocking over here. We coming with steady news on top of news, and we letting you know what it is, man. We represent all sides. We don't pick no sides. We non-biased over here. Salute to the guys. Salute to the gang. You know, this is real life situations and situational needs. What is you doing to support? You support it the right way by giving exclusive information and news on all the guys so they can get their fame up and they shine on. Look, what's your shine props is? My shine props is to make sure all the guys eat. In this field of the internet world, we all eat. We all come from the muds. We all got our face dirty up in it. Now time to be clean with that bag. Salute to all the guys. Rest in peace to all the dead and free all the guys. I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Salute, gang. I, 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 to designer, that designer. Gucci, that Ferragama, that Louis, Louis Dolce Gabbana. Yes, I flee, bitch. I be dressing to impress your baby mama. I got bitches. I got money. Show you stop laughing. It ain't shit funny. Show you. Be riding for Giannos, Volanos on all my 